got to wipe think it every now and then. Some people like the butt chin. I don't like butt chins. Dude, you, but you like, guys ever see me and myself then again, in a If, like, my wife. <laughs> I would. Would you lick it? Would you lick it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm a fan of that Pikachu. He's adorable. Is that a chunky chew? Are we it, recording? Is it a chunky chew? We in? Oh, like we are in. All right, great. We Welcome to, I, I guess we're going to call it the Hype Stadium Podcast for now. Uh, the name is to be determined. It could change at any point, multiple times. Who knows? My name is Hype Stadium. Uh, nice to meet you guys. Everybody want to go around in a circle, maybe? Do that? Sure. All, All right. right. I can go ahead and start things yeah, off. <clears throat> I am uh, Justin. Um, I, I know all these folks through <laughs> different me- different life. means, but life. I will say life. I think we'll keep it easy. Yeah. Um, uh, you can call me uh, Mr. Discipline. That's something I like to go by because I like to fancy myself as discipline. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Scotty, I'll, you're up. Yeah, I'll go ahead and take that. Uh, thanks for introducing me. Uh, <laughs> I guess you can call me Scotty. Natural you can call me Scott. Uh, Scotty Two Hands because I got two of these bad boys attached oh, yeah, to my we're arm. we're doing this again. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, or you can call me later. Uh, we'll go ahead and <laughs> pass it off the guy next to me. Uh, yeah, um, I'm. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm not gonna have any nicknames. I don't think. I, my name's Ridge. Uh, I like to play <laughs> video games. We like to talk about Pokemon and uh, mm, absolutely Nintendo and all these other fun stuff that we're gonna get into today. So. Strong name, dude. Yeah, oh, you know what? Yeah. I, I want to stop us right there. Yeah, sure. um, you know, r- the fun thing about Ridge is that you know, thirty. No, I'm like a sixty percent of all housing additions are named after him. So uh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's like the Reese's candy bar, right? If a guy comes, <laughs> names Reese comes up, let me have that. <laughs> Got to hand it over. Ooh. So basically, Ooh. I own all the property. Um, throughout, wow! Throughout the throughout, basically this whole town. So you're nice. you're colonizing the United States right now with all these <laughs> yeah housing additions. Well, Interesting. Well, jokes on you guys. I'm going to Mars, so that's happening in ten years. Wow. Uh, me too. Well, can I go with you? Do you have a ticket that I could buy Dude, off you, sir? Once Elon like sends it to me, he hand like. Hand <coughs> delivers it to me. Uh, yeah, you could get one too. Oh, I'm okay. Out okay. I like that. I like that. You know, I was under the impression that you guys were going to get on your doge and just ride to the moon. Oh, we're Dude. jumping on crypto already. Can I, can I, I mean, see how much I have right now? Or I mean, feel free. I'm I mean, just going to tell this to the world. What? The, the amount. Oh, of I only have only like 40 bucks. I mean, oh, okay. You can well, see how much we, we need to know that, that. That How about we just say how many coins you have? Okay. Because sure. Doge coin, right? Yeah. I am increasing. Let's put it that way. Okay. I own That's every, I own all the Doge coins. Do you? It's unlimited, right? So I mean, is it unlimited? Yeah, it is. Uh, yeah, um, as of right now, it is a currency that potentially has unlimited mining capabilities, yeah. which okay. some people look at that as a downside. But um, uh, Mr. Supply. Elon thinks it's. it's I a, mean, it's, it's a well, it's a supply and demand thing, right? So mm-hmm. I mean, there's only 21 million possible bitcoins. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. once you get to 21 million, you can't get any more. Unless you trade for them, and mining slows sure. down, I think over time. Um, oh yeah, the more coins that it you gets make, harder to mine. Yeah, I think. Right. Yeah, it does. Okay, good. Yeah. And they're not currently out yet, as I understand. No, it. it's I am, somewhere in the in eighteen to nineteen million. I think the last time that I looked for Bitcoin. Uh, that's right. Cool. Yeah. Oh, twenty-one. Bitcoin. Yeah, twenty-one million yeah. is the the possible total. I, I you can fact check me if you like, but I'm pretty pretty sure that's right. But Doge is unlimited, so yeah. I mean, uh, Doge is doing pretty good considering it was started as a meme. Yeah, I mean, it's literally so, a joke. Religious stars I mean, if you it think about it, though, a joke. I mean, think about this it right here. I mean, this is this has started almost as a joke, right? I mean, sure. a, a little bit. Right? Yeah, absolutely. Kind of I mean, just like, oh, that'd be fun to do, and then, well, now here we are. And next thing you yeah. know, we got all this, all this equipment. We got four people here. We're ready to go. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm making a Pikachu. We're folder. just playing some Pokemon right now. Yeah, uh, the, the new Pokemon Snap. I, uh, yeah. I watched the the trailer for this before it came out, um, and I will be buying it and playing it myself. Oh. Um, and we were talking about um, the 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 Gen Four Pokemon games, yeah. right? In the beginning, in like the intro of the game, you're like this tall character, yes. but the graphics do not support that. So you just go. Like, oh you're, yes! You're like degrade it. Like that's what I did in my soul as a because oh. I turned back into like a fourth grader, <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna take pictures of Pokemon. That's yeah, fun. Sure and are. the answer is yes. The answer it's, is it, absolutely it, yes. Um, Why you saying the know. words is a little underrated because the experience is very uplifting. I remember right, yeah. this on Anime. 64, right? Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah, yeah. yeah. So nostalgia is littered all over this game for me. Yeah, mm. it, well, it's funny because I, you know, I I don't uh, I, my um, my dad was like, oh, I'm going to buy you guys like a, a gaming system or whatever. And he's yeah. like, what do you want? And we are like, oh, um, we don't have a Nintendo 64. We never had it, didn't know anything about it. And he bought it and it like came with games. And Pokemon Snap was one of the games that oh, it really? came with. Yeah. Game. So it's the only reason I played it. I mean, I just remember sitting in that room just like for hours, literally taking fake pictures of, of, of fake Oligonal animals. Creatures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, why does that work? I don't know. It works. Is it like a Nintendo polishing? Is it just a Pokemon thing? Like I... I remember playing that game, and I would literally like wake up on a weekend. 
I'd go downstairs and I'd be able to be playing Pokemon Snap or Pokemon Stadium on my Nintendo 64, and it was so much fun. And the thing about Pokemon Snap was it was so relaxing, and the, and the little hints oh. that you could do. If you hit the Squirtle in the right way, that's how you unlocked it because he went up yeah, and you yeah, hit the yeah. Mankey or whatever <laughs> it was. Like, little things like that, man. Well, and I think it, the, the, like, the, the TV show also added to that because it was like, oh, look, at the, I'm in, like, this secret area. And, like, this is the You're interacting rocket, with the cartoon the characters. Area, sure, yeah, sure, and, sure. like, oh, there's, you know, Mo- or, um, uh, Zapdos <laughs> is in here, and you're like, sure. dang, like, I, I took a picture of it. And it, it's so <laughs> funny to say out loud, but it's Were like. Were you at the Seafoam Islands? Uh, is that I what mean, Zapdos? No, that's Rarticoon. You guys would know the, the G- yeah, yeah. Zapdos is at uh, yeah, the, power the power plant. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. You guys would know. Scotty going into the meta over here. Saying, you know, he's yeah. flexing a muscle. The geography a of, of Pokemon. <laughs> I don't know yeah, that. Yeah. I mean, uh, we were talking about this earlier. I know so much more about Gen One than I know about any of the other generations. I mean, just like the the new game, you know, the new games we're going to talk about later today yeah. is all like the Sinnoh region, Gen 4, I think. Yep. I don't know anything. <laughs> I know nothing. I mean, I've, I know the Pokemon. I've seen them in the cards. But, you know, if you were like, what's this one? I'd be embarrassed. I wouldn't. I wouldn't. Yeah, and it's, it's good to have that because Sinnoh is one of my favorite regions. Sure. So it'd be it's going to be really fun to, like, kind of pick your brain, pick your guys' brains about these different things when, like. Absolutely. It's something like I beloved, like I've, re- and it's so funny too because I was a freshman when that came out, and my in, friend in high school, yes, my friend was at a baseball game, so he couldn't get it, so I got both of them for him, and we were worried about us not even be able to get it in time because the kids that like me and my dad went to Target like eight o'clock in the morning Ooh. when Target opened up, and I remember waiting outside, cool and they dad, were like, bro. yeah, they were like, wait, you didn't you didn't pre order the game, so I was like. No, and they said you might not get one. I'm a freshman. Like I don't know anything yeah. about life. You <laughs> cried. <laughs> um, that, that that's crazy. Uh, I, yeah, I dropped off. I mean, I love the games. I mean, I've played. I played Pokemon Blue like all the way through sure. and like beat what is it like the the final is it the elite, elite four the elite, elite four. four I was called the final four the I get final it, I, four it's like basketball um, the elite and four I, and, and I like right? I like yeah then yeah, Gary, Gary. Yep, yep. Oh, I'm sorry Blue I, I tried or to yeah, like blue, blue, blue. you know like we boss right. it. I tried to like boss the game. I, I did like level forty Pokemon and no heals and no potions and stuff because if you get the right team and the right Pokemon, sure. you know you can kind of, you can just power through them and nothing they do will hurt you. So Ridge uh, was like inventing the Nuzlocke without even realizing. Well, it. no, I mean I did that recently because <laughs> oh, like as okay, a kid, okay, I'm okay. like you got to go in there with like yeah. one up. level hundred Pokemon that I got there with like the missing no and you know all of the ninety nine rare candies. Oh yeah, that was a good time. One thing I feel like is so crazy about Pokemon is that I got it into it pretty late in the game. I was adult. exposed to it, yeah, you know, yeah. when I was younger. Like, I played Pokemon Snap at my cousin's house. I need to pull that up. I did not grow up with these types of things in my household. Mm-hmm. Money reasons, but um, a lot of my friends had fun doing it. They had the Game Boys in school, and they were syncing up. All of that stuff it was kind of, you know, those experiences. I remember people having. Had the little printer. Exactly. Yeah. You want to get a little <laughs> older, you come up on some money, and then lo and behold, what comes around the corner? Pokemon Go. Yeah, oh, right. Yeah. So Niantic got real clever. Sure. And luckily, Nintendo loosens up a little bit, allowing other developers to have some fun, at least yeah. that for, for that mm-hmm. game in particular. Um, it really just unlocked everything. So me now learning the uh, Gen 1 Pokemon through Pokemon Go, um, it brings these games to the forefront, these remakes that are happening. And now I'm playing these games that I never would have played before. So it's kind of neat to, for someone like myself to get ex- uh, get exposure to Pokemon late, late in the game. But um, Pokemon Go, by the way, really good game. Unfortunately, there was uh, something that happened in- to the economy and, uh, you know, illness 19, we'll call it. I don't want to. Sure. But, sure. Um, you know, it really slowed everything <laughs> down because you couldn't walk around and That's do right. all these things. But perfect timing for Snap, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. Ooh, yeah. And Pokemon cards. Yeah, and, oh, well, I mean, <laughs> we're, we're going to get into it, I that think. That is a but, total um, other... He, you pulled the printer up over here? That's another yeah, lane so right there. <clears throat> this is the new this printer. The new printer? So, yeah, yeah remember, all right, say, so that, when, dude, when the first Pokemon... That so smart with when these the things. the first Pokemon snack came out, you could go to Blockbuster. You go to Blockbuster, and you could go in the little printer machine. You put the you put your memory card or whatever it was inside of it. Pick sure. out what Pokemon card or what uh, pictures you want to do. Rest in peace, Blockbuster. Well, except for the one in Bend, Oregon. There's one. There's one left, Bend, Oregon. Really? There's a documentary on it. No, not to disrupt the whole flow we're going here, but... It's fun fact about how Blockbuster took over. There's a documentary on Netflix. It's called The Last Bus. Uh, yeah, I, I watched it. It's good. You watch it. Yeah. It's actually entertaining. It's very entertaining. The, the lady's amazing who's running the last. The Blockbuster. one employee. Yeah, <laughs> she's, she's just, so it would seem. She's just like, oh yeah, we don't have that movie. I just go to Target and buy them all. <laughs> <laughs> she's like cleaning the discs and all these oh, things. Oh yeah. Oh, my. She's like, we're a Blockbuster Guys, family. I'm pretty yeah. sure I'm about to run up on run up on Badoof. Oh my Badoof gosh. gang. The Badoof. 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 Yeah. Are you Badoof. Are you in Dude, the Badoof's a cute. You part of the Badoof game? Yeah. I am team Look at this. 
it's a dude, a side profile, side oh, profile. Oh, that's the that's the money oh shot, dude. God, that's sorry. a so, money shot. Oh, they'll no, never time out. That's oh, the money no. shot. <laughs> that's we're a little, saving that one. Oh, uh, we're gonna you're gonna get put on a Pokemon watch. We're gonna get a hard R on this. You gotta watch out these angles, dude. Why is the Wurple showing me? Uh, well, hello. hello. This game is all about booty. Apparently. Ridge, you're gonna get put on a Pokemon watch list. Put you on time out. Oh no. Um, I can see Disney doing a like a ride like this, right? You get a little oh, uh, well, camera. Then, you use your phone or something like that. Of the uh, of the uh, the ride at Universal for ET. Oh <laughs> yeah. Oh, I just rode that. It's, it's what? Like, yeah, we went to Universal in March, and my wife was just adamant we gotta ride this ET ride, and I was like, Is yeah, it what old school ride? Oh, dude, it's like thirty so, years old. So they like um, they uh, what would you call restore it and keep it up to date and yeah. Or do, they, or, or do they lock in that old feel? Like, how did it feel? Uh, it was it was old. Like, you literally just on these, like, Dallow. bicycles. And it's just, like, a real... You're just, like, kind of cruising through the air, and then, like, oh, you're over the sea. So it's a time city. machine experience. Yeah, yeah. It's Love like, it. Have you ever been to Epcot? Yeah. Yes. Like, yeah. when you ride Epcot, and it's just, like, you're just kind of, you know, going. And it's yeah, like, oh, look. Yeah, got. it's exactly how it was. I mean, we, we, we should probably pull up a video and just do the ET ride. I'm sure yeah, someone's sure. got it on YouTube. Right? Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. I mean, whatever. Time boys. Um... Why you doing? Fun fact, and, and this, this is the one of the cool things about the internet and just getting old, like Pokemon in general. Mm-hmm. Um, did you know that po- uh, Pikachu wasn't originally supposed to be Ash's starter or main main Pokemon? Wait, really? to be, Please tell me it was Squirtle, right? It's supposed to be Clefairy. What? Clefairy was supposed to be Weird. the face of Pokemon, what? and they changed it because so they changed it properly, in my Which opinion. Is, yeah, oh, oh absolutely. definitely did. What they did was they had like a what is that called? A focus group type thing where mm-hmm. they like oh sure. workshopped at the kids and were like oh they yeah, Pikachu. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The electric mouse, like that's way better. Dude, than imagine what the heck yeah. is Clefairy? Well, let's not evolve it. Let's yeah, just keep yeah, it. yeah, exactly. He's let's so give strong. it an evolution. Well, let's just no, imagine right. Clefairy versus Brock's Onyx. Clefairy versus Starmie. Clefairy. That'd be terrible. Ride your versus no Clefairy. Thing. Bro, that's some beta. That does not. That's not. <laughs> yeah, no, we need. You guys when, also he, know? When, he, when he fights the Sand Slash. You know what I'm talking about? Oh, Sand, Sand True. Sand, Sand True. Oh, oh, what's the, the name with the wet? The, yeah. the wet? Yeah. 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 <laughs> Agility. He had to like get fast. To, yeah. To yeah. Do it, which is which is what hat what Trunks had to do in Dragon Ball Z to yeah to fight. He had to. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, yeah. Now, can here. you encounter? And if you don't know, that's fine. Maybe we'll run into this experience. Yeah, sure. Shinies. Can you experience yes. shinies? Uh, yeah, yeah. I think so. You can. Yeah. That's okay. a great so, question. Um, so, uh, I mean, the, the cool thing about Pokemon Snap, because I mean, it sounds like you, you know, didn't get to play it a lot, is like uh, one of the things that this will allow you to do Humble is like salt. you can turn around and stuff, and like it's just places you might not see. Like Pokemon will pop out. Um, and you'll be able to like, oh, look, there's like a, you know, an onyx up here. I didn't know that. And so you you'll do it. it again and then um, try to yeah, time so it again. Yeah, so you go through. So you'll see like here at the end. Here, I'm going to like, I'm gonna get this, this dude real fast. Um, yeah. Uh, the compi. Nice. Good um, pick. Good but, pick. Um, nice. Oh, shoot, darn it. Well, I, I didn't even see it. That was a headshot. It. That's yeah. a, like, you that's must, a like, beautiful. You must play FPS. That was a beautiful. Yeah, um, so, must be a um, professional. But I hear you whispering, Scotty. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so, but, and you can also kick stuff off. And like, if you take certain pictures or if you do something at a certain time, like other events will happen. That's what it, um, Nick was talking about earlier. And, um, and like, it'll, you can like make the game reveal the, the Pokemon to you and then sure. you can take the picture of it. So, oh. um, yeah, you, you and your like cart and your, the, the actions you take influence um, like what pops up. And that's the, kind of the fun. You have to, it's almost like a puzzle to yep. figure out. Sure. Um, you know how to get the Pokemon. But this is what, what gives it that want. replayability, right? So, right. Yeah. Okay. I mean, and, understood. Understood. And then you get grades. So, like, I just went in. I took 22, uh, 22 different pictures, and I got eleven Pokemon. And I'm sort of building fifty percent success rate. Well, <clears throat> I don't know how many will track. actually show up in that first like track. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. It's hard to say, but um, you you're almost building a dex, just like you would like in the games when you're catching them. But instead of catching them, I'm Capturing them sure. via photo. Okay, um, makes sense. And then um, Efren Beard is gonna, going to rate me here. So. <laughs> gonna rate to you. Yeah, rate. he's going he's gonna to rate the photos. I did not hear um, that. So, like, if it's yeah. jumping, if it's moving, if there's multiple, yep. if there's mm-hmm. other Pokemon in the in the shot. Um, yeah, I mean, you can see I got tons of folders here, so we can take a look at them really fast. So, like, this one will probably be pretty good because I have the Grookey, but I also have the Pichu. Right. Mm. Um, in the so that's like a double headshot. Two yeah, for one and deal. The, and if you take, so you want to get your best shot. Picture so like, hands worth two in the book. For each Pokemon. Exactly. So later on, you know, there was a Magikarp and he jumped. Maybe later on I'll catch him, like, mid-evolution or something. Oh, you yeah. Know? Okay, and that would be a much better high, one. And I can say of course, that. it might be Gyarados. I don't know. But, right. um, yeah. Anyway. Yeah, I got that. I got that OG one fifty one on on lock. The fact I knew what those two were was because it said so. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, and he hit it on the head because basically this game was all about like kind of experimenting and exploring and doing different things. Like how I was saying the original one, the Nintendo sixty four. Like I haven't played this yet. We're just actually playing it for for me. Um, <laughs> and uh, I, on the Nintendo sixty four, if you throw like a, a, it was called like a pester ball, and it was like a stun. Hmm. 
thing almost. And if you like threw it at the Charmeleon, he would evolve into a Charizard. Right. And right, if you right. hit like the Squirtle, it hit the Mankey to unlock the new region. Like little things like that, you just randomly do. We like we didn't have the internet. Oh, back yeah. then, like to yeah, yeah, to buy like, those guides, baby. We had, exactly. to, like, look back. Oh, oh back, my god, nobody. Let's go to the bookstore. Come on, <laughs> yes. Same yeah. with Pokemon cards. Like you had to buy the Beckett book mm-hmm. and like yep. the price guide. Didn't know I the mean, price. It was like the Kelly Blue Book for cards. Ooh. I remember KBB. just playing subtle. Video we are games, sponsored by like, KBB. <laughs> back before the internet was super popular, we didn't have the internet in my house. I would literally call my buddy on the. Landline you know, or whatever. Regular landline yeah. phone to ask him to like look up cheat codes for like GTA three. But you had to end the call <laughs> which, right because which, they had to do the whole dial up thing to get on oh, the internet. Yeah. Or was he like an early adopter oh, of yeah, the cable? You know, you I don't, yeah, I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, yeah. I don't remember. I remember and like net zero the ten free hours. Like I learned what <laughs> I learned what LOL meant like at his house. Like he didn't have the internet. Cool. Yeah, so, um, and I'm gonna a little bit of a glare, but um, yeah. Um, which is, by the way, that GTA comment, GTA 3 comment, is going to be a, hopefully a good seg- uh, segue into um, Arceus when we talk about it in yeah. a little bit. So, um, yeah, so right now I'm just picking the, po- the photos that I, that I took. But, yeah, if you guys want to. So uh, another fun fact, trivia. I just tied in. Sure. Let's um, do it. You guys know who the first po- what the first Pokemon was that was designed? Oh, I knew this. I used to know this. Let's, let's I used into. to let's, know this. Let's go around and see what you guys Oh, know. that's it. <sighs> All right, uh, flying Ooh. but far away, or just up in his face? Probably up in the face up is going to be better. All right, cool. Because the other one's too far away. Yeah, let's go around. Uh, oh my god, you're going to start with this. me. I used yeah. to know. Well, this. I have a one at a hundred and fifty-one chance. You do. Yeah. Yep. Um, Wait. First. I don't think it was a Johto Pokemon. Okay, keep going. I'm gonna. Um, oh really? Oh man. No, no, no. It's Kanto. No, but it's Kanto. but Ho Oh was created pretty fast too. No, yeah. I no, I don't disagree. I'm, I'm just saying in general. Yeah, yeah, We're, yeah. Mm, man, uh, it probably wouldn't be the end game. I'm not sure if they would start with the big boy and reverse engineer yeah, it back. It's, it's a random ass Pokemon. It, it's a random. One. That's what I remember it being a random ass Pokemon. It wasn't Bell Sprout. Sure wasn't. Oh man, I'm gonna uh, Geo Dude. You are. You know what it is? Isn't he? Isn't he right? He's close. He's not right. He's in man. the right well, come ballpark. On. You're very, very close. That was we a gotta, random. It's guess, not. But... Yeah, yeah. It's not Sancher. No, you go first. I, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I'm trying oh, to think. Man. Well, I mean, the, the obvious answer would be, you know, Clefairy or whatever you said earlier, Pikachu. Right. I'm not going to pick those because obviously this is a trivia question, so right. that can't yeah. be the, the case. They're, they're also so if Geo Dude is close, yep. then I assume that it's like That's a true. really simple. Was it Meowth? It was not Meowth. No, it was not Meowth. All right. Well, I went with that just because I like, wanted because to say Hello Kitty. Connection. I wanted to say like Graveler Golem. I think Haas is very close. What is it? It's actually right on. Damn it! Uh, oh, really? Right on. Yeah. Yep. He was the first. And he was a rock type. First ever. Okay, all right, we'll take it. I mean, basically just copying an animal and giving it a different name. Yep. Ish. Yeah. Right, yeah. well, I mean... Right that, on was one of my favorite back then. It's, it's cool. He's well, cool the, the, He got her done. The thing yeah. that I think, and we talked about this before, the thing I like about the original, like, list of Pokemon is that they felt like real animals. So, yeah. You know, so right on is a good example. Yeah, I mean, oh, yeah. There's some that, that, you know, Charizard. He's a dragon. I... I, I that's a thing that like we were aware of. Obviously, they don't well, exist, I think yeah, the original ones they wanted to the compute to you. You're like you see something well, that looks like a mouse. It's Pikachu a bird. is an electric it's mouse. He's yeah. a mouse. Like we get right. it. You know what I sure, mean? Sure, sure. So, Mickey Mouse, right? Then um, we have vanilla. Yeah, yeah, uh, Chuck E. Right, cheese. Exactly. Now we have floating ice cream cones. Yeah. Oh, you know, yeah. a little like, trash techno can trubbish. things going on too. Trubbish. Well, the fun thing. Uh, fact oh, Mew's even a mouse, I believe. Yeah. Mew. I think Mew's a mouse. Mew does kind of look like a mouse. Yeah. I think Mewtwo kind of is too. Or is, no, well, Mewtwo's a, a human. No, cat. it's part human, right? Mewtwo's part human. Part. No, it's just a clone of Mew. Mew. That's just no. that. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Genetic Bigger engine. and beefier and whatnot. Could have swore that human oh, DNA got mixed with Mew. It, 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 I, I, it's I, I, definitely I, yeah. genetically engineered. That's for sure. Yeah. Going into the whole 151 original 151. Did you guys? So we talked about Pokemon Go a little bit. Sure. Have you guys ever played or heard of Let's Go? Eevee and Pikachu. Of yeah. course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that's the, that's the one I've, I've played, yeah. Okay, so what was, your guys, what was your guys' impression of that? Because basically they took that original game that we all grew in love playing yeah. when, we, when we were younger, and they made it this this new three-dimensional thing where they kind of got rid of a few different aspects and they made it more Pokemon go us. Like, what yeah. was your guys' thoughts on that? It, 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 it was a complete remake. I'm, well, I'm sorry, it was a complete copy of the original game. I think, like, screen by screen, like Link's Awakening, yeah. they tried to recreate it but have put a 3D skin on it. I think, mm. uh, aesthetically, it was a very unoppressive game. Mm. Um, but they turned it around pretty quick um, sure. to capitalize on Pokemon Go hype, yep. 
along with switch hype yeah. and it integrated yeah. the two real well and they interacted with one another because you could take anything from the first gen and then throw it into Pogo um, or vice versa. Then you go yeah. both ways. You get a mystery box. Um, yeah. No, I think no, I think you could only go from Pokemon Go into the Switch. You couldn't go Switch to yeah, Go, I don't right? Think you, no, no. But yeah. you get the mystery box for the exchange. For the Meltans. Yes. yes. And then w- it, which um, is an extremely relevant PvP that, meta Pokemon. Really? Yeah, one of the quickest, uh, one of the faster quick attacks in the game, mm-hmm. um, along with some other really good defensive stats. But yeah, I mean that that Pokemon in particular, I won a lot of PvP battles in Pogo because of that. And so. So we're throwing using it out to the switch. Or Mel Metal? Yeah, both. You, okay. you know, you need uh, Mel. Uh, you need the little one to make the big one. The big one is what you. Oh, you, you want f- the big one? Yeah, yeah. And obviously, good IVs are really, really important. But I like it. Liked the whole like blast from the past thing. We're mm. like, because I I loved Kanto. Like I grew up with Kanto, so it was right. great. I thought it was a little too like. I, obviously, these games are made for children, and I understand that I'm. I'm older and I'm an adult now. Linear. However, now. however, yeah. the fact that like it just felt so easy and the EXP share every Pokemon every time you battled something, it took everybody forever. got leveled up. And I'm yeah, like, why it. is this happening? It, I can't turn it off. It seems slow. That too. oh, you were talking about that in your in your other video the other yeah, day. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah today. Um, yeah, go ahead and uh, like and subscribe to that. Uh, uh, Give um, a view. So, what was your guys' take on that? Like. Obviously, <laughs> games, Pokemon games, like they're not supposed to be like incredibly hard. But I remember the older ones being a little bit harder. Yeah. And these seem like they're getting easier and easier. So, my the problem the problem for me is I didn't play the game. I would like to because, like I said earlier, I love the original. For obviously, the games and you know what we all played, you know, originally, and I like the original 150. Um, I guess 151. Um, the I didn't play the game, so that kind of thing, you know, a mechanic of the game didn't really bother me. The thing that I was um, a little, I guess, peeved about was that you didn't battle the the Pokemon in the wild, and also like the randomness of I- encountering a Pokemon in 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 like the tall grass. Mm-hmm. That was exciting. Yeah, and the unknown. I mean, the unknown was you know the mystery of what you might find. I mean, when they're just floating around like that was not as fun. No, it, it, it nowhere near yeah. as fun. You knew and what like, you're getting, and yeah. sometimes like you were trying to hurry because you don't, you didn't want to encounter po- Pokemon because, uh, uh, because you know your team was gonna die or whatever, Got and you're like, crap, I gotta go through the the, the tall grass. Very and, like, role, you could just, like Final Fantasy feeling. Almost. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, could yeah. Just, yeah, yeah. You could just get through it, and the fact that you don't even battle them, you just, you know, you Pokemon go them. them. Uh, yeah, which, in my opinion, that was a, a combination of what we wanted. And what we didn't want or need, which exactly. was which was like let's make Pokemon Go in the original really popular Nintendo you know Game Boy game. We wanted that. We wanted that because they because the ball the way the ball worked was incorporated was a complete rip yeah, you off could Pogo. Buy the ball and yeah. go like that. Well, even it. the animations in the game, they really worked hard to mend the two universes or the two different right. experiences. Niantic had a lot to do with that game. Yeah, I my mm. I guess yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, again, I didn't play it, and maybe I would re- have a, a ton of fun with it. Maybe just because of the nostalgia, but for me, it, it felt it felt like they had to, so they just did. You yeah. know, they're like, okay, well, I guess we got to move because like. The Switch controller so, does that. So. Well, you could use that Pokemon ball. Well, yeah, you could to buy play that. the game, you buy the deluxe, yeah, and then and then that. it also worked for Pogo. So question. you could catch Pokemon. Yeah, we're like still it. talking about Let's Go Eevee. And we're talking about yeah. Let's Go. Pikachu okay, so and I never got to play that game. Okay, yeah. so I guess pardon my ignorance. Um, you can't battle. You just you, you, you battle can't. trainers. Yeah, you don't battle the wild Pokemon. Oh, and was, it, it did this stupid there. thing too, where it's like you must be, you must have a Pokemon that's weak against Rock in order to battle Brock. You must have a Pokemon that's at least level twenty make to it get like in. Kind of hard. It, yeah, yeah, it's like well, they, they make it just linear. It's, it's just yeah. not as yeah. challenging. It was and a, they babied you, I and mean, they like they like kind of assisted you in a way that that um, game was just made quick. I mean, like there was a yeah. moment in time they profited massively off. Sure, of it. they said Pokemon there's two variants on it. A lot of people bought both. Got the EV, got the Pikachu version. Yeah. Um, and I have friends that literally they would bring their Switch into the office. They'd throw it out on the on the Pokemon channel and say, "Hey, I brought the Switch and come get mystery boxes for for Meltan." Love so it. I love we, that. we would grind that out. Oh, uh, sweet. Moving in. So entertain me. The reason why I brought that up is because that was a recent Pokemon game that came out, and the things that some things that like bugged me before, like they they kind of addressed a little bit. So I want I want us to watch this. Yeah, this is an evolution of. You know, Gen 4. Yeah. And oh, this yeah. has a major um, uh, link to the past feel to it. Okay. Sure. Well, and, For and, Super and, Nintendo. And it is a remake. 
or it's not a remaster. Ooh, this is a remake of that game. Yeah, and I like remakes more than remastered. Yeah. Mo m mastered most of, most of the time. Like Link's Awakening, that remake um, was phenomenal. Like, mm -hmm. I mean, it, it was really screen good. for screen, it super fun good. and engaging. Um, but th yeah, this one right here, I, uh, this looks more engaging to me, and the art style is very unique. Um, it looks like a new experience, but it maintains the core of that Pokemon feel. So did you play the Gen 4? Did you play Diamond and Pearl? Uh, I did not, no. So, I played the shit out of it. So people I, people seem really mixed on the art style. So that's why this looks like that, because they kept a little bit of it. Yep. But they've yeah. also yeah, that changed was awesome. it. I like that. So um, yeah, yeah. they yeah. must have used the uh, Link to the Past graphics engine to make this game. I, like I bet they came out. Or, I, I like that. There's a little switch right there. Oh, yeah. They always, they cool. always do Easter that. eggs, baby. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I don't think they used... They could have used a Link's Awakening a little bit. Um, I think this is what they wanted to do this time. Was in the past games, it was, hey, we're gonna we're gonna revamp this to fit the new graphics. So before it was, you know, we had the sprite, the character sprites for mm -hmm. like the Game Boy Color, the Game Boy Advance, even Nintendo DS, and they switched it to make people look more like people, and it was more three dimensional. Everything was bigger. In this, they kept that top down feeling. I love that. And some people didn't like that. I. Love it. Oh, that's great. I love... This is how the game should be. In that, I agree. Unless they're going to switch to like what they're doing in Legends, yep. um, this is what they should do. And and some people were banking on it, saying like, oh, it, the chibi style, not a fan of the chibi style. Things look weird. It looks like it's not polished. And like that, that's your own opinion. If you don't like the whole chibi style, I get it. But for me, this is what Nintendo was trying to do here, was they were trying to get that top-down feeling because everybody's been asking for it. So many people, like, I, I mean, I get my news from Twitter, like that's literally where, where I get my news source, Great and place. I get a lot of people have been begging for this type of game where it, it is that Bro, original feeling. And Nintendo's like, you know what? Take it. We're yeah. gonna give you the exact. Yep. We're gonna give you Diamond and Pearl, just like before. We're throwing it on here. Take it. And you, you can't make like everybody it? happy. Exactly. So, yeah, you just can't. So and I'm ecstatic. Yeah. I'm so we happy. Know. Right I can now. tell. Yeah. Your, yeah. your volume enthusiasm is pouring yeah. out of you, sir. Um, I can't no. hear anything right now. Yeah, no, I, I can't see anything. <laughs> yeah, um, sorry, sir. No, it's okay. So, um, we'll fix that. yeah, no, I. I'm one grateful. thing that people were, were excited about is that they've um, they've like incorporated the trainer a bit more. So, like in the battle, mm -hmm. it feels like they're actually battling as opposed to just like the two backs of two Pokemon. Sometimes my dog will like sit in front of me, and she just reminds me of what my. Uh, what my Charizard looked like when I was playing the original games because it was a big old, big old thick neck. Oh, uh, yeah, Ooh, let me see. Get some shades, yeah, bro. Yeah. Uh, yeah, just in this, like this, and people will see the thumbnail and be like, Who's that? He's inside. Um, <laughs> he's just keeping oh, the incognito. Octave on hotness. I, 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 oh, I like what God. I'm anyway, so, you are so, so I wonder what he's right thinking about. So I do, I do like <laughs> that you can see the trainer in the background. Whispering. Like, you whisper that, like it adds you to it, you know? Yeah, um, sure. And I think people are really excited for like those little upgrades. What's interesting about to me about. Uh, Keep it up, I love hey, it. Man. Keep going. What's interesting to dynamic. me about very um, like light it. on his feet uh, about Nintendo is because I'm not a Nintendo fanboy. I right. like I love Pokemon. I like Mario. I mean, those are like the two big uh, you know uh, IPs that Nintendo has. Mm -hmm. um, but they either seem to do something ultra right mm -hmm. or just like totally wrong. Yep. They don't. They, they're never. There's no middle ground in Nintendo, no. from my experience. You know what I mean? So well, like, well, the, the reason the reason for that, Ridge, in my opinion, is that they are willing to push the envelope and experience. They have the guts and the gauze, unlike Xbox and PlayStation, to innovate in new creative <laughs> ways. And I think Nintendo embodies risk. And yeah. then sometimes they play it safe, but most of the times they're going to lean into the unknown. And and and, and like you, you look at the um, the Wii, it worked out great. Yeah, the oh, Wii U, sure. the, I mean, the Wii U, which was an attempt for the that, Switch, that really fell flat. But dude, yeah. I've never seen Learned somebody, I've never they seen a company back. pivot so fast within so four fast. years. Do the Switch? They nailed it. They but killed the, it. They just were. They probably should have pushed the Wii a little further. Did a Wii Pro and then waited for the technology to develop. But you don't know that if um and, and you got to make mistakes. Failing forward is so important. Yeah. But for them to really, I mean, to pick up like they did and then fix, it's huge. It's so, huge. The, the, yeah, the, the Wii U obviously being, you know, as as um, a disaster as it was as far it as... It was good. Know, I liked it. I, it, it they had a it, lot for of For people awesome. that knew about Mario it. Galaxy, mm -hmm. like those games, I've only played them a couple times. Yeah. They're, they're so much fun. Mm -hmm. They're incredible. Like that, 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 um, that like, um, 
uh, King Kai planet type thing you can like run, run around on. You know what I'm talking about? And like the um, the two player you could throw Luigi in there. And Don't. King Kai, it's a Dragon Ball Z reference. So. I know. Oh, 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 yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh yeah, that's right. Wait, do you I not know, know you're DBZ? talking about? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, oh yeah, that's okay. I'm, I'm, I'm talking okay. about it's fictional. Okay. Yeah, no, no. Keep I, going. I, I, I yeah. saw yeah. that one uh, Dragon's okay Ball P video. A Dragon's Ball. ball no, is is YouTube just floating right now? We got YouTube just going right now. All right, cool. So anyway, I think I think that yeah. Earlier, we talked about um, what. What more did we want to get into with a um, with a Brilliant Diamond? And uh, well, I just wanted to. I think we we got our point across. Was yeah. like, um, it's kind of like a preference thing, and you can't please everybody. There's always gonna be someone that's gonna be complaining. Mm-hmm. Someone's gonna be bitching. Somebody's not gonna like it, and they're they're gonna complain. <laughs> it's usually like, gonna be me. You, I'm just glad because what hurt, like what made me so upset before, was like Let's Go and Sword and Shield were way too easy. And if you got right. the DLC for Sword and Shield, which was, like, the new region that Nintendo did for the Switch, it was their first, like, Switch, like, game that wasn't yeah. just a remake. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You, if you got the DLC, they gave you even more XP that you couldn't turn off. So it was, like, just throwing you love love. So I'm like, no, I want this to be challenging. Yeah, I want to like, grind. Sure. Yeah. And, and There's no difficulty mode in this exactly. game. Okay, and, yeah, and yeah, if, yeah, and yeah. if you would throw, and if you catch a Pokemon, you would also get more XP. So I couldn't, like, I would purposely not catch Pokemon. I'd purposely like, See, run the, away. The problem here is that I think that their demographic now is skewed so heavily towards older and older people. Mm-hmm. Yep. Um, whereas people when it first it. came out, they were serving children. Yep. They were. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. <clears throat> 100% yeah. were. And now those children are, are uh, older. They have more older. money and they're experiencing, they're, they're expecting an adult experience. Yeah. And I think they're realizing this now. Yeah. I, think, I think, and I think A little legends, smarter than we used to be. Yeah. I think Legends is going to be that game. Um, like can two we, IQ points. Can we, can we talk that? about Legends? Talk, do we, can we talk about our, our Legends? I'm ready. Yeah. No, let's go. Let's get into yeah, Legends. Yeah. I think I think it's important. Do what you want to do. Okay, let's, uh, let's pull that up really quick. Yeah, yeah we'll throw the trailer up, everybody, the and then we're just going to kind of live commentate through God, it. I, um, I am so... People... Uh, yeah. I have thoughts it. on this game more so than the others. from a long, long Here we go. Look at those wood balls. It's pretty cool. Love that. Breath of the Wild style, baby. Dude. Let's go. Buckle in, baby. Dude. Ooh. Piplup. Pull my heartstrings. Do it. God. Oh, no. Oh, dude. I love this is so Look at that cute. Feel. It's so good. I love feel. I, this is the game that I never... This is the game that I wanted as a kid. That sure. I never <laughs> thought Nintendo would ever make. Well, it's not giving too much credit yet. Hold on. All right. All yeah. right. Let's pump it, the so brakes. I think, I think this I is, a little bit again, of this is them exploring and pushing the boundaries again, yeah, right? Yeah, so this is yep. clearly the Breath of the Wild graphics engine. Very similar yes. to what we talked about with... Um, uh, well, I like that developers Although are talking. running on a potato, let's be honest. This is alpha yeah. for sure. Oh, well, and, I, and I have thoughts on this. We, this is, we can talk this about game it. isn't meant for this system. I'm going to throw that out there okay. right now. Okay. Oh, all right. Oh. You know what blows my mind? What's that? Is the release date for this is slated for 2022. Yeah, yeah. This game is not meant for this system. Well, we'll see. This game yeah. is meant for like a PC. I literally can't wait for this. I I, I like it. I love it. I can't yeah. wait for it, to, for it to be over so we could talk about it. Yeah. yeah. Because I, I have tons and tons of thoughts. Okay. This is weird to me. I, this okay, is weird. we can talk about that too. We can talk about that too. Those are the starter Pokemon, right? Yes. Yeah, but they're, yeah, not but from different they're, they're different different gens. They're different gens. Oh, I, different I think they're, I think gen they're mixing. Gen 2. Well, gen 2. Hey, gen that's where I'm at, right? 5 and Gen 6, I think. I think the idea is the professor has brought them from other regions, but it's still strange. It's very strange. Okay. Yeah, mythical. Yeah, it's not done yet. No, 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 no. Well, now we're getting into Arceus. Yeah, yeah. Oh. That, so, so do we know the history? Does everybody Pokemon. know the history here? He's Pokemon God, right? He, he, cre- he created he Pokemon. Created, that's great. He's yeah. the original Pokemon. So, I yep. mean, which is... which is. I did not know that. I'm which learning. Which is great because yeah. this game takes place super long, far in the past. Hence the legends, right? Right. That's pretty right. sick. He's doing that's his pretty homework. sick. I love okay. it. Buddy. So I'll, I'm, uh, I'm going to just kind of experience... Early 2022. Early. Early. Yeah. So and, I, and I have more context around that date and why I think that date is very important. So I'm going to let you guys okay. talk about how the game makes you feel. Then I want to go into <laughs> where I think this Perfect. game is going. Yeah. Um, I mean, Nick, go ahead and jump into it. Let's, I think, maybe start with this. With um, We'll get to the starters, but I think we just start with, like, the overall, overall idea of, I mean, an open world, Breath of the Wild-esque yes. Pokemon game. So, I mean, so, so <clears throat> do you guys remember when Breath of the Wild was announced and people were, like, losing their shit because they were like, what... <laughs> Open world, it, we, I used to call it Zelda Skyrim. I would literally call it Zelda Skyrim. Because I'm like, open world, completely different. Most of the yeah. time, Zelda games are somewhat linear. Like, you can explore. Mm. Pretty linear. But it's somewhat yeah. linear. Breath <clears throat> of the Wild was like, if I want to go there, if I want to climb something, I just climb it. Yeah. yeah. 
Like, you just need to be strong enough to make it yeah, in. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna figure things out. You, next thing you know, you could you could do stasis and you could freeze a rock. You could hit the rock five times. You could jump on the rock and then you could go. Best sk- game of all time in my opinion. St- like skyrocket, like a cannonball. And the fact that that engine and, and that that design is getting implemented in Pokemon, which is literally my favorite series, my favorite franchise. You could have fooled me. <laughs> Continue. Timing was favorite perfect, Rich. Franchise. Classic, Rich. Like, it blows my mind. Now, so that's that's a fanboy. And, and this, um, I, I'm going to let you guys know, spoiler alert, the first game that I showed, the Diamond and Pearl, even though I was super excited about it, it got mixed reviews. Uh, sure. It wasn't as popular. Some people were like, this is amazing. Other people were like, this is chibi style. This is trash. I don't like it. Chibi like, style. some people wanted He knows the, the emotions behind yeah, it. Yeah, some like people wanted that, that 3D that you got from Let's Go. Not, not <clears> necessarily <throat> like the, the level and and, um, and and everything associated with that, but they wanted the, hey, we're humans now. We're in, we're in 2020, 2021. Like, let's make better graphics. And they, they didn't appreciate that. This game was virtually... Positive all across. Sure. Uh, it has way more views on YouTube. Uh, more people are, are uh, like pumped about it. <clears throat> Less people are like uh, um, like upset about it. Um, but everyone is saying, "How is this game coming out in 2022?" Right. Because that looked like alpha, alpha, alpha. Like yeah, you, yeah. it was take like ten frames per second. I'll be able to fill oh, that man. gap. I mean, some of the the yeah, cool. like the animation I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. the Pokemon right, is baby. like shoot. It's that, like shoot. yeah, yeah. I mean, it looks it, it looks a little clunky and that kind of thing. Um, but I mean, again, the first look at a lot of games is bad, and and it's fine. I mean, they seem to be okay sharing that with us. They know that it's not good. I mean, yeah. one thing that Nintendo is, yeah. has done super well when you think about the the Switch is like these games that seem to be like pretty heavy games are running pretty amazing on this technology which is let's be honest is like tablets from 2005 it's literally a I mean, tablet graphic card yeah and so so i think that nintendo is going to pull that off i think the game's going to look great it's going to be fun it's going to be smooth i mean maybe a different system i mean i guess we'll get to that in a minute yeah 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 um but yeah the i mean the open world concept um has always been good i mean for me i, I originally i i think about like super mario 64 Yes. It's like open world esque. Certainly, like you have to go into the castle and jump to the paintings and all that stuff. But like when that came out, everybody was like, This is incredible. I played like four Mario games in my life. There's two I that would, are good, right? Mario would, 64. I'd play the crap. All 120 of stars, Mar- baby. Mar- Mario Odyssey. O- oh, God. Yeah, Odyssey. Mario it was, was a, really a sequel to 64. Well, so oh, I don't want to get off track. You went back into the 64 sure. land. Right. Yeah. Remember that? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Castle. Oh, yeah. oh, man. Yeah. It's, but it, yeah. Oh, I do remember that. Yeah. yeah. That game sure. is great. I need to, yeah. I like, go and get the rest of this, like, a thousand, what are they, moons? Um, but anyway, so, yeah. um, but I mean, think about the other games. You just mentioned Skyrim earlier. Yes. People are still playing Skyrim. Oh, absolutely. It's, it came out 10 years ago oh, almost. Yeah, and absolutely. We're still playing Skyrim. Yeah. Dude, there's why? so many memes around Skyrim. <laughs> and why? It's relevant. Because, because couple the jobs open associated world with it. concept for a game mm-hmm. is what people want. GTA 3, in my opinion, like that's like, there are open world games like dated back to like the 1970s. But sure. GTA but, 3 was one of those. But G, that's right. GTA 3. One of the 3 first big ones, yeah. yeah. From 2001. Mm-hmm. Um, Moral Wind, I think, was before it. Moral Prob- Wind. Probably. Yeah. But, but, but GTA 3 was like, look what we can do. Now, of course, it's a little bit different. It's not catching Pokemon or, or, or you know, fighting. Um, it was a, it was pick, a, uh, it was a hard art. Dude, that game was cars. a hard art. Oh, yeah. I mean, you're For killing sure. people in sure. those cars. But, but, but the idea Whoa. is like, people saw that game and they're like, people oh, man. Game? I think so. Like, this is crazy. <laughs> I've been doing it wrong. The I thought you just drove Cyberpunk, around stopping stoplights. You know, GTA Cyberpunk, has casualties. Cyberpunk. With mm-hmm. an asterisk. Sure. But, but the, the thing that I'm hoping that they'll do with this game because I think it's going to be fun. I think it's going to be great. They need to populate that world a bit more because it seemed real bare. Um, Even though, I mean, next to the mountain, like, Sinnoh is pretty bare. But but anyway, um, they need to double down on online play with not just leaderboards and make the open world. If they do, like, that one-two punch, like, finally do something new because, I mean, open world is great. That's new for Pokemon, but also do... Um, you know, an, an online because none of those games that I just mentioned, GTA Three, Cy- Cyberpunk, I guess, kind of, um, you know, Skyrim, the online 
either doesn't exist at all or is, is awful. I think, in my opinion, and maybe that plays well to what Justin is talking about, I think that a newer technology maybe or a newer idea for Pokemon and an online version of it would be incredible. Yeah. RuneScape, WoW, these games have been going so on So you want to play with different people is what you're saying? Yeah, there needs to be an in-world, like maybe a server-type situation. Okay. I'm going to push back. I don't think there needs to be. I think there could be. Could be. Well, if you think about uh, Nintendo, like what is it with them and well, deciding they, that the online version of everything is going to be terrible? Well, they made Skyrim online and it failed massively, right? So they, oh, they made yeah. So it doesn't always well, play. They did but Elder but, Scrolls online. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, um, so I feel I feel like that that is an opportunity, and I could see that being a risk that Nintendo may take. And based right. off those graphics, they might be downplayed under Breath of the Wild. Because it's that same graphics engine, but it's tech, it's kind of pixelated a little more, at least right. on what they're it's showing terrible, us, yeah. to pick up that it's online awesome. functionality. Maybe. So, um, But I want to give uh, Scotty yeah, yeah. an opportunity to give us his feedback anyway, before I go into super, some of my oh, speculative I'm things. Gonna throw the rumors. Yeah, I'm very overall. excited. I'm very sure. excited. Okay. Yeah. yeah, from a little lower level, I mean, I thought the artwork, I mean, I think this the idea of it looks great. Obviously, the graphics will improve. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look good. But I, I don't know. It was just cool. I like that, uh, you know, little character was hiding in the grass. Yeah. Um, Stealth will be a big deal. Yeah, it was mm-hmm. cool. She's just like, oh, there's a Shinx. You know, just a little, <laughs> just a little dab out there. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm excited to play oh, it. That's great. Play. Play. I, I'm not a big brain into, pumped. you know, getting de- deep on, you know, what these two are going to do. What but, would make uh, that game successful? What, like, not necessarily monetarily wise, but Haas, what are you thinking would need to be sure. implemented, or yeah, let's get your thought process on this. Yeah, so I think um, I think this it's going into the adventurous area, right? So I think this plays to the the, the tune of the conversation we were saying around um, an older demographic now, right? We have grown with Pokemon; we are now older, and we expect a more rich um, uh, adult experience. And I think this game is being tailored for those older fans. I'm sure all of us would agree. Okay. This is the evolution of the Pokemon experience. So, what and we've how, been asking for forever. Oh, uh, exactly. Sure. So, like, I mean, I think group. I think Nick mm-hmm. Nick has a good pulse on uh, what the fans want, and okay. I think he's represented that really well. And I think this is Nintendo making that attempt. Has a super aggressive timeline, all these types of things. I think they're hiding something. And I, there's, mm. there's, there's one of two things they're hiding they're, from us. They're downplaying it. Downplaying it yeah. extremely. And I think they're showing it in the graphics here that are being displayed um, for our online viewers. Um, so what I th- what I think is going on is, one, this is either a massive multi-online player game. Rich, you, you nailed it right on the head. That's where my head's going. Or two... Um, this is a next-gen release, and they're showing this downscaled for the weaker machines. Question, right? do you think it's going to be the Switch Pro or a Switch 2? Are you talking about <laughs> an upgraded Switch, or are we talking about a completely new system? There he system? is. He's, he's, he's turn up. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and I'm going to open the aquifer, and we're going <laughs> to get into this. Oh, oh, sponsored right. by the city of Carmel. Uh, so this is, the, this is one of the discussions that I actually had on my list that I wanted to um, talk to you guys about, so we'll get into yeah. it. So there has been a leak um, and hasn't oh. been rumored too much oh. on the Switch Pro. I think it's going to be a pro. Yep. They don't want to take away from the Switch because if you say Switch Two, you it's murder you murder the Switch too sales. Soon. Ah. Too soon. System's too, gone. Yeah, because in that game, I think the Switch still has legs. I'm talking yeah. four years. I mean, uh, I as agree. a mobile console. So <laughs> it's walk. So they're going to start. So I think there's going to be two large releases, and this is all speculative. This is rumor. So um, uh, viewers, just please know that what I'm saying might not be true, but true. I have a, I have a hinkering. Yep. So um, <laughs> so uh, uh, Sam. Samsung just had a leak about an OLED deal with Nintendo. Yep. Oh. Yep. oh, so they're sure actually did. right now doing a mass production for OLED displays. It's a seven-inch display. Um, it has uh, it, it's still the same DPI, um, which is I think or whatever it's pixels per inch. Um, that is a Not measurement that you get. It's a 720p display. Um, however, uh, it is going to have an, an, an increased viewing um, experience through the OLED. OLED's great. It's better for OLED's battery great. consumption, all these types of things. Yeah. So, um, but through this, it lets us know that um, that they're really seriously thinking about this this new Switch arena, more powerful graphics. The, the silicone alone, I mean, we went from 15 nanometers in the current Switch. Mm. We're talking getting down to like 8, 9 nanometers now. So, you're going to have a much better silicone in it. Okay. But um, what, what does this equate to, right? Right. So, this game coming alive graphically. Um, mm. And you're also going to see, I think, when the Pro releases, because the Switch did so well, you're going to see a Breath of the Wild 2 release, which we all know this is coming. It's coming. I think it's going to come, and it's going to coincide with this release of, of, of this Pokemon game. Yeah, they announced it. Oh, it, well, it just went so well. So, um, uh, okay, so this is where things get a little squirrely. I all don't right. have evidence on this, but I, um, based off some people talking, uh, it sounds like that when this thing is docked, like, so when you're holding it, it's going to perform just like a Switch. Yeah. 
bigger screen. So sure. it's going to be better. But when it's docked, okay. this docking station, which will be another bundle, mm. will have um, a, a, a GPU CPU built into it that will com- that will complement the Switch Pro. Yep. Yep. So and now you're going to have 4K output. Um, with a much powerful G, much more powerful GPU, and it's going to be an a la carte experience. Oh. So you can just buy the Switch Pro, have the upgraded specs, battery, battery life, play all the back catalog of the Switch and all the online content, and then, or you can buy the bundle or buy the the um, the dock separately. Smack that on, and then you get this 4K experience that should, based off again rumors, I need to say this, um, hush, that hush. will rival PS5, that will rival. Um, uh, um, the X, the X. new Xbox insert new buzz name whatever it is there's a, there's a lot I of would pay there. Man, I'd love to see all this stuff I would pay, you just can't get them I would yeah. pay four to five hundred dollars in order for that to happen I'm not even joking I think yeah. Nintendo for the longest time has always lacked that that graphical power that all of their competitors have had imagine playing the, these amazing games that we grew up with these these amazing games dude Breath of the out. Wild two four K exactly. brother four K are you kidding buddy me? Brother. I mean it looked good it looked good seven twenty ten eighty p like imagine yeah. ima- I mean We've, we've all seen emulators. If we haven't, like, done something legally ourselves, um, we've seen them online yeah, and stuff. Right. Like, have you ever seen Breath of the Wild run on an emulator on the PC? 4K, it's great. The textures, it's gorgeous. It's amazing. And, and, and can I tell you the one thing that makes it amazing? One second, Richard. I know you got something I got to get say. back to you. I got to hit you with something. I, I love it. I get too far away. Is <laughs> FPS, frames per second, dude. Thank you for Hold, defining that. It changes <laughs> the game. No, I mean, First it does, person it does shooter. Sure. Oh, that's oh, so funny. Oh, yeah. Love it. Yeah, frames yeah. per second. So go, oh, go ahead, Rich. Go I, ahead. I just have to hit, hit. So obviously, you know, your your point is they're hiding something. They're, you know, this is. Are you saying that this game will be exclusive to this new technology? Like this new? No, piece? no, no. I think yeah, it'll 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 go across the catalog. It's going to open up the availability for potential sales. So what you're seeing here might be like this is what you're going to get if for you the play switch. on a regular switch. On a switch, right. I think right. Switch Mobile, Switch Docked will look a little bit better, upscale yeah. to 1080. Yep. Um, the problem is how busy is this environment? All that's RAM dependent, exactly. right? The amount well, of activities and stuff. It should be random. I mean, that's what's yeah. been awesome about the games in the past. But the other thing is like. In just that environment where there's like three Pokemon sitting in like one spot, there's right. no wind, there's no rain, there's nothing. There's I mean, no, there's, yeah, imagine there was battles. A, there was a and I want to see things back, flying, yeah. and but sure, nothing's sure. happening. Um, there's it looks like there's basically no civilization other than that one. They're city. showcasing. I, I think the, the the main goal here was to show the open world aspect, Which, yeah, sure, give you an idea of what's going to happen. Yes. Exactly, that's great. But what I'm getting at is that like that world currently is super unpopulated with stuff yeah. that would limit that FPS, limit that performance, and yeah. it's already running like crap. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. So my hope is I will buy that game for the regular Switch, but if it looks like that, I won't. Absolutely. Right. No, and I think you have an argument there. Yeah. And, you make a strong and, but I think Nintendo knows point. that. I think that I you Nintendo you have you guys have heard the Nintendo polish, right? Nintendo when when a link to the past came out on the Super Nintendo, you could you could swing your sword at the drapes and it would cut the drapes open. That's like that Nintendo polish that they always had. Right. I cannot see <clears throat> Nintendo releasing a main Pokemon game that runs in 10 FPS. I feel like I what we just it. saw is just like, you know, you go outside in the, in the driveway, you grab a couple rocks. They're there, but you put that bad boy in a tumbler. Let it tumble for a few hours, yep. maybe a few months, 2022. And then <laughs> pull those bad boys out, and they're polished nice and clean. Yeah. They're, they're sandbagging smooth. here, everybody. They're sandbagging. They're well, just trying to yeah. show the open world. I, I yeah. Nintendo yeah. won't release it they're, unless they're it's polished. They're getting you re-excited. Yeah. I mean, I think, when, when did we it's see working. Legends? Yeah. When did we see the uh, the first trailer, like the first release? Was it this? during? Was it during? Um, the 25th anniversary. So they showcased uh, oh. they showcased uh, was, Shiny, or Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl or whatever, and they're like, but wait, there's one more. They, they needed a banger is the point. And yeah. people lost their shit. Oh, I see what you're saying. They needed a banger because don't me wrong like you know uh, what, what is it a uh, brilliant diamond and, and shining and what, pearl yeah. um like that's cool but like and like i mean so, yeah you so, you actually yeah. draw a, a great point because like how i told you diamond and pearl the remake not everybody liked it there was a lot of like dislike there was i a think lot it's of for the younger it. crowd i think that game is serving the younger Sweet. children my children will love that game sure. it's right. linear the 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 uh the, the first yeah diamond you and pearl that, that I mean, brilliant Nick is more hype about I'm, this I'm than more, anyone i've ever i am so excited anything. for both these games it's like a hype stadium so i think i think that diamond and pearl was for the i think the diamond and pearl was for the season tickets please i got two hands sky two hands 
You got one? one you two. got two? I think Diamond yeah. and Pearl, the remake, was actually for the older crowd. And I think it's for the older crowd. I really? I, yeah, I yes, agree. 100%. Because they're not giving you all that new flashy stuff. I didn't see any Gigantamaxing. I didn't see oh, any, any V, whatever they're called, the zigzag thing that they did in Sun and Moon. There's sure. none of that. <laughs> it's, it's hey, you guys have complained year after year you didn't for get a, a bare bones yeah. remake. This one's for the Twitter Take crowd. it. Take it. it. And I freaking am all about it. I yeah. love it. That's I awesome. Mean, I can't wait. I mean, I, I've I've always been like you know like Fire Red and and like those. Yeah, games. I want to play those. Like I wish oh I could God. just play them like Ooh. right now, but I don't have. Yeah, Nintendo, let us play your old games on our Switch now. Yeah, exactly. I want to play. Bring it to the Switch. Pokemon Gold or Silver or, or silver. Crystal. Exactly. If I don't want to. Amazing. I love so I love much potential, Johto. man. Johto was my favorite. You've seen the like the OG catalog that you can yeah. just if you if you're paying for the ten dollars subscription yeah. or the twenty dollars yearly subscription yeah. you can access all these games. There's sure. a bunch of them. I mean, look, NES and Super Nintendo. Yeah, I mean Donkey Kong, all that Sonic, all the or I think there's Sonic on there now. Um, I think right. Am I, it's am not am in I mis- the. I don't think it's in the subscription, but it is in on the Switch. Yes. Okay. So those are great. Yep. But none of those Pokemon games are on there. Dang. Red and, red you guys and blue are. Still right? have your card. Technically, like, let's games. go, but that's it. It's uh-huh. on the Switch. <laughs> See, here's the thing Nintendo has this. this well, they dumb know thing that we're going to buy them. What? They know we're going to pay for them. Exactly. And, and the, the part that bothers me is it's like Nintendo can do it right now if they want to. I mean, literally, these games are on the 3DS. Yeah. These games are on the 3DS. Is it time? Uh, all right, let me, I'm let just me, putting it on deck. Let me, I'm just putting it on deck. All right, all right, yeah, let's transition to some cards. Is it on the. What's it called? Warming up in the bullpen right now? Sure. It's on the court. Getting warm. We're playing sports um, now. <laughs> it's on the green. It's on the green. It's in the hole. Um, what were, you, what were you saying? Oh, Nintendo has these games on the 3DS. You can play gold, silver, crystal, red, blue, yellow, all on your 3DS right now. But that's not the new system. They don't even like. They're not even make. They're, they're right. not doing the 3DS anymore. We right. got a brand new Switch, which yeah. is also portable. I just why would my I? 3DS. Why would I? Literally, yeah, literally. Why would I have two Dude, different? I'm things busting like out that? my Game Boy Advance, and I'm playing my gold. Game, my the Game bad Boy thing SP. is. Do you guys have any of the gold, silver? Yeah. Like, oh. So yeah. I know. So are you able to save it and like keep it? Oh, are you talking about because right battery the died? battery def- like um, I, oh defect? I actually repaired mine. Yes, me too. Yeah, I took it apart and I pulled the battery and replaced it. And they said if you do it wrong, your game's basically torched. Yeah, sure. It didn't. No, it, it didn't. It works great. I uh, so I didn't know. I did this in college. Yeah, I did. I didn't know how to high school. Yeah, I didn't know how to solder and stuff. Uh, Like we have friends that like, oh, just let me know and I can solder. I'm like, I didn't know how to do that at the time. I literally, I just put it in, pried it out, and duct tape. Yeah, or not duct tape, electrical tape. I I crimped it. Oh, there you go. It worked pretty good. There you go. And I was back like, I mean, obviously YouTube is a thing, but like, no, it was not like it is now. Uh, And I, I was like, I I want to play this game so bad. bad. I'm gonna risk breaking this game. Dude, it was gold was fun. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's funny. I thought that like the original. Original games. Oh, dude, check it out. What is that? Uh, I don't know, but I missed it. I bet it was a Pokemon. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, you can. Uh, There's so Bidoof you can, again. You can do it. Oh, we can scan now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so look that's, at this. Oh, it's telling me there's something over here. So, like, uh, what ring. I was trying to do. What is that? It's an apple? You can do some analyzing and stuff. Uh, oh. it, it was like cooked over a fire. So, yeah, I was just, you know, we were getting really into this conversation. So, I was trying, you know, I didn't really. Right here. Not, man. I uh, wasn't really paying check attention. Oh, there was, there was. All right, was. go ahead and do your thing. Oh, he's flying around. Did you see oh, that? Oh, go that way. So, yeah, you can do a scan and it'll, it'll scan tell you. Scan the trees? Yeah. Scan the flowers? Okay. Yeah. Crystal really bloom? Cool so, this is that second time through. So, I talked to the, the professor and stuff. and um, <laughs> Professor Mirror. Is that the name, Professor Mirror? Mirror. Okay. Yeah. Um, so I was talking to him. Swana. And uh, yeah, so that, you know, I've done this one already. Magic but you heart. can like go through and you like unlock sort of new Archer. new ways to interact with the environment and, um, you know, new ways to analyze all the stuff. It's pretty fun. So And it gives you replayability. Well, right. And that's the thing. So like, and, and it kind of um, introduces it to you fairly slowly. Okay. So like the first time through, I couldn't do any of those scans. I couldn't do any of the, um, of like, I couldn't look at, uh, I wonder if he's going to jump again. I couldn't look at uh, like that, the, the, like the fauna and like the stuff on the ground. I couldn't, yeah. I couldn't look at that earlier. So, uh, really, what I'm trying to do this time, I'm taking a lot of pictures. I'm just trying to yeah, capture like this kind of thing. I didn't know that, for example, I didn't even see them last time. Can you throw apples yet? Um, I don't believe okay. so. Do you like that the pace that this has gone so far? So, what's interesting is, um, you know, because of our conversation and stuff, I wasn't able to, like, read all the instructions. Sure. It seems like that is really important. You want to, when you're playing through this, maybe try a scan. All right, well, calm down. Um, maybe try scanning. It seems like you can maybe, like, scan the environment, um, and, like, it'll tell you, like, to look up. Oh, see? 
There you go. Nice. Hoot Hoot has an unused. Oh, so he's. Oh, there's a Hoot Oh, he's like hiding in there. Okay. Yeah, okay. Was so that there last time? Did you see that last he time? He might have been, but I didn't see him. Got so, it. like, that's what I've kind of been unlocking. The one thing that I'll say right now, and I mm -hmm. think it's probably to make the game a little more challenging, is I feel really push forward. Okay. Like, my, my like POV. Doge is surging right now. Uh, Let's go. Seems to be like super zoomed in, and I actually don't really like that that much. Um, if you do a scan, it should maybe show you where, like, I mean, from like before, like up here and, and all that, you know, I wasn't looking. Almost dead. Um, so yeah, there's, there's there's a lot of, um, it seems, like hidden stuff, just in this, this first, like this is called Park Day, Okay. this first area. And right now, this is the only unlocked area. My guess is I either need to get better scored um, yeah. pictures or yeah. I need to find a, a, a bigger percentage of, of Pokemon that I have not seen already. So, so do you see how quick that is? Yeah. It's not so in the, in the past games, I do remember it was basically like, all right, so you, you, you get, you I have to get a certain score. Once you get like a yeah, level yeah. score, mm -hmm. it kind of increases to the next one sometimes. Yeah, yeah. So I think it's I maybe think it's have to do it a few times. As exactly, well. I think it's a combination of them implementing new things now, like that scanner. Yeah, and, and they're kind of like building up to go to new different places, and also you probably need a better score as well before. Yeah, so I got a hoot hoot this time, which this is a terrible picture, but I you got still him. got one now. I got him, and it's gonna add to it. Yeah, yeah. Show me all that. Okay. So. All right, well, when Scott gets back here, we're going to go ahead and maybe open up a few cards, talk Pokemon cards. Yeah. Yeah, Sound and then, good? Uh, and yeah. Then, and then wrap it up. Yeah. Huh? No, 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 I, well, I have a few things that I want to show everybody as awesome. well, so let's not try to spend too much time opening cards. Yeah. I, I do. I would like a moment. I think it will be worth it. It will be good content. Right, so uh, if you want to uh, take this off scene, I think I'm just going to uh, sit down. Yep. Let's take a look at the cards. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I got the sure. sun out of my eyes. Man, we're, we're moving. We're feeling good now. Yeah. I just want to say that that really hit me. Cause that's that a, coffee. That, it was, it, yeah, it's just like, yeah. <laughs> I thought it was just regular coffee. I didn't know I was gonna like lose my damn mind. Like I said, it's all about the water. Um, <laughs> you have to get up and just like yell outside or what? Yeah, I, I, it's uh, the best well <laughs> no, water that you can find in the country. I'm gonna put money on that, dude. I'm yeah, not, it, we are on a it, good aquifer. Full disclosure: this uh, this, I, this pod was um, sponsored by the aquifer. Yeah, yeah. underneath the house. <laughs> <laughs> we also have this. We went on the hunt today. We found these, um, and we did not overtake. We, we took our share. We right. were fair because we were about we're about the community. Styles. Yep, I got there four as well for and the I kids. Had three hits. Out of yeah, packs. I mean, yeah. great. Rich was like, "Oh, hey, I'm hey, so Rich, lucky. I'm, I'm never... glad we didn't swap, right?" No, I know. I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. That. So, I mean, before you guys start opening, I mean, as you wanna, if you wanna start opening, um, yeah, like, I mean, know, we can just start. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna hit the just pre-open. Yeah, I'll just I'll get people with the seal. Just get the get the bags. I'm somewhere in the four hundred dollar range of 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 Pokemon searching. Okay. Um. And I have never gotten a hit worth talking about. Ever. 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 And, and then, then I you. pulled a Rainbow Rare uh, mustard First today. thing, I'm like, Colonel hey, Mustard. why don't you wait Colonel until, mustard. you know, like the podcast, so in case something amazing happens, we can record. It's <laughs> yeah, like, it's, oh, it never happens to me. It, don't it worry, really guys. Didn't. So I was saying how, like, oh, all right. Uh, you got those. What do you do with those huge, those big cards? I save like, them. What Collect they, them. What are they called? I put them in what a zip lock. Those are big promos. Yeah, big old promos. I have a ton of, of what's the sheep? I have a double. Double, yeah. Okay. I, I don't I like, anticipate them going too much in value, I but I have like twelve big double cards. I'm like, what do you do? Promo cards just don't do well. It seems like it depends on what it is. Though. Okay, yeah, yeah. Like a the Pikachu, a Charizard. Yeah, oh, absolutely, absolutely. Oh, yeah, and obviously um, the boost, supply and demand, right? Yeah. Scott had two uh, Gengar promos, um, and he gave me one of those. That's a sweet card. I, yeah, um, but what, was it a big or small? Or was it, it was a normal, whole, a small nor, yeah, the, promo. Okay, yeah, I think that was actually. In Those the, are I worth things. It, it, yeah, it money actually has a Japanese very like the oh, version wow. of that. That's not a promo. It's Nick, really what we cool. got? What we got? I got the same card that you got. Oh, oh nice! Yeah, what is, what is it again? I can't. Grade I don't have my glasses on. Uh, oh wow! Yeah, I'm, I'm blind. Eighty-five. Oh, nice, nice, very nice uh, yeah. hit. Yeah. So that's a good so one. full RV. Bale, Bale Styles for me. Uh, I uh, I mean, I did a a YouTube vi video on this that just got released as well. Hit the darkness of blazes in here. Yeah, it's one of those yeah, mix. So, yeah, so dude, there is a V Max Zard in there. <laughs> like, oh man, I've opened up Darkness of Blaze before. And and honestly, that that Zard in um, Darkness of Blaze is actually harder to pull. It's the oh, one hardest one. Shining Path one. It's yeah. impossible. In the shining yeah, yeah. Um, dude, if um, you hit it, dude, I've read a lot. I got of, this card in the PSA ten. I've read a lot of things on like, on on the interwebs that yeah. said that that card eventually is going to go up skyrocket. I think that's I think that's the one. Yeah, it's the rarest. Absolutely. 
Um, it's gonna Scotty rock it. <laughs> so that what, sounds Scotty two hands. What I was gonna say though before was uh, I basically like I have zero expectations now for for Battle Styles because you I mean two best you, cards. Have, you have two Tyranitars. I, have, I, have right? two, I wish I could well, get I there. I got two Tyranitars and I hit the two. The two I've got cards a couple good the rarest cards in the past, yeah, like, yeah, which it. was the Urshivu, uh, the Urshivu Altar, and it's then the Buffet Tyranitar. Mm-hmm. So for me, it's like. I don't. I don't know what else. Like drunk Tyranitar. I'm going for Charizard now because I never pulled a Charizard. I always wanted to pull a Charizard. Well, Daddy, let's out. see it. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you, I wish, you haven't. Man. You haven't lived your second life yet. The, apparently, because <laughs> have you guys all pulled the Charizard before? Yeah. No. No. no? Oh, yeah. Just. Okay. Uh, just. Scott no. I. Literally until today, I didn't pull a card worth talking about. I got ever. a. I got a Lugia, but it's just not. It's yeah. Not yeah. Anything. It's a regular. I still. Yeah, yeah, I like regular. it. I the, the only the unfortunate thing about the like the. This this particular setup for you Good pulling luck. those cards is that the people can't the see the big card. But don't worry, Hype Stadium is going to get <laughs> hype. Probably run around this room. Probably I don't know. If, if I, if I ever pull a Charizard, yeah, we'll, we will know. I mean, Wait, just go might, ahead and watch that video. He'll probably, He's got some great reactions. Yeah, yeah, the last video on the channel. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'll put it. I'll yeah. put it right here, guys. Bangers. Yep. Nice. We're just right bangers. here, right about yeah. there. Straight okay. bangers. It's green. Look at this terrible picture of the hoot hoot. <laughs> That's all that's a rock and roll. It's new. Toot, totally toot, it man. is new, yeah, yeah. Toot. Toot, toot. Toot, toot would be the best Pokemon. <laughs> would oh, he yeah. be a train? Oh, or could, would you, no, would that'd be, be Thomas. He'd, he'd be a gas. Like he'd a be flatulence a, Pokemon. He'd be a, he'd be a fart <laughs> gas. Wow. Yeah, it would be It would be like a coughing or a wheezing um, yeah, yeah, but max just evolution. Gas. Or the baby version of it, like the, the tiniest. It would be the stuff behind Gasly. Oh, <laughs> oh, but oh. green. <laughs> and real potent. Yeah, oh, yeah. Did you know that they're coming out with a pre-evolution of Grimer? What? Really? It's gonna be called Splooge. No. <laughs> oh my god. god. Damn. Had I fell for it. That boy did it to him. Dude, a fairy? I thought Rip and f- I, a fairy that, yeah. energy. Oh, they, that's they actually is, retired uh, it. Darkness they they it's retired the last it. Yeah. One, yeah. It's Darkness and Blade. Yeah. I'm sure it'll come back eventually. Look at this. He just chucking those. I'm Dude, I love it. He's been through it. Yeah, it's not. Okay. Nothing. What Regis do we got? Steel. It's a Regis Steel. Steel, but Regis it's Steel. Not, yeah, it's it might be good in the meta of the game itself. This point, like, it's so shiny, doesn't even look real. Oh yeah. Get a fake pack. I've caught a lot of those in the all your packs already? Yeah. What? Is that all your packs? I'm done. All right. All right. Scotty. Scotty, Scotty with two hands. The let's good thing that. about having two hands, folks, is let's, uh, let's get that you know, Tyranitar cards. cards with them. What's going on? <laughs> Tyranitar um, optional art. Is that what it's called? Alternate. 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 Yes. Yeah. Buffet, the, the after Tyranitar. The buffet. Yeah. Drunk Tyranitar. Ah, Drunk so Tyranitar. That's my favorite. We got food baby Tyranitar. Back, green back. Food baby Tyranitar. So apparently, so let's let's fill people in. Apparently, the the or Justin doesn't really know this and doesn't want to know this but we're going to tell him so oh yeah the Please. code card Fill so in. If you have me. a code card a green code card yes. with the pokemon card backs on it you see this in one of these uh standard sets it means you don't have it hollow at least a hollow it's just a regular is that 100 percent confirmed uh, yes. yeah okay but now, not in all do, sets at least though for the newer sets. subsets yeah the subsets like dark or i'm sorry the, the, the premium place. sets yes, yes. shining yeah. Yeah. champions path hidden space shining face it's battle styles battle styles uh Vivid Voltage, Got Darkness it. of yeah, Blades, yeah, yeah, yeah. this works. Earlier, they all freaked out because I had I bought four random packs, <laughs> and all four of them <laughs> were the all pack, four had, were a pull card, had, like, had a pull code card. And they were like, what the heck? This is unheard of. So yeah, I, I, mean, I said cool. earlier, um, uh, uh, Justin and I both bought four packs, uh-huh. and uh, I was like, we better just trade because there's no way I'm going to get any uh, pulls. No, I brought the trade up. You, I, well, I said it. You suggested we do it. And ETBs I was like, will always have something. And Dude, then I hope. three, three ETBs, pulls I feel, always Good have a, at least a, like a, a couple of these. You know what? Uh, I just want You say that. Yeah, one. yeah. just, just go through them. Just do your I, thing. I, I, I just want one pull out. Out. Yeah, The viewers, they just want to see. Yeah, yeah. Bangers. My, so my champions bring the bang. path. Yeah. Uh, ETB, the one that you picked up for me yeah. that I that I got from you. Ooh. Yeah. Nothing. No. I heard champions. You're supposed path. to always get at least one. You're supposed big card. to. I did not. I heard champions any. path ETBs were not that though. I I heard. Well, Scott's champions got, path ETBs were like the worst when it came. It to was pulling. the most stressful because yes. there was nothing good in that entire set this outside of two true. cards, exactly. and that's where shining fates reigns oh, per mean. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry, reigns rapid strike. Oh, okay. Nice. 87, number 87. Another rapid strike. Okay. Yeah, How many of those of are there? There's more. I think there's mine was a 85. Few. Yeah. Then you got the alt arts for those or shifus yep. as well. So there's at least four, I think. Come on, Doge. Well, actually, Give me that Doge update. Um, yeah, actually, uh, my brother bought can a Champions I, uh, Path can ETB. You slide yeah, yeah. me? And he pulled both Charizards. It's about in, 34 in one cents. One ETB. ETB. Both Shiny Charizard. and the rainbow. Absolutely insane. Yeah, on Christmas, we pulled the V and the um, the rainbow all on Christmas with like 45 packs. I was able to scrounge up 45 packs over two months, save them for Christmas. Yep. We opened all Good of them. Good dad alert. And, you, we, and we got a PSA 10 on the rainbow, dude. dude I know. That's awesome. What, what, is the, what is the worth on that right now? PSA 10, rainbow, uh, It's Charizard. floating. It floats around 1,000. 
on a PSA 10. That's incredible. Around. I mean, it's amazing. Well, there's the box is too high. There's there's, like there's a rule, there's a rule of thumb or there's a you thought process. It. Oh yeah, buddy. Let's try not to talk on top of each other. Yeah. There's a there's a thought right now that PSA nines and these most recent Charizards may be worth more than tens long term because they're much rarer. The nines are. Yeah, because people aren't grading nines. They know they're not nines. They don't grade them. So you're going to see a, a bigger population of tens. They're thinking that the nines might be worth more in the future. And this might not. This this might be people just trying to compensate for their shitty cards. That, <laughs> but that sounds wrong to me. I it mean, it well, does. It does. It, hey, <laughs> there's less of these, but it's not as good. Well, I'm going for a PSA one then. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah no joke. Let me, yeah, let's, yeah. Uh, let's, let's let me card sneeze on this bit, card real yeah. quick. Let's bend it a little bit. Wipe, wipe let's put it. Guys, let's give it a swirly. This is a bad ETB. So far, what do you got? Five uh, no hit. Capacity. Yeah, but how many? That how means many are the rest left? are good. That how means the rest are left. It's only right? three. I have two left. Oh, I. I that's the. You old. got two, but don't you hate well, that? Well, one the listen yeah. a buffet it, 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 tyrant. If I had one regular four, pull rate you earlier, you will. I'm feeling just, good. You will. I told you. I took. I, I hate it all. It ruins it. I don't like. I like. I hate knowing. I'm like, how's this happening right now? That's why we got to stop talking on top of each other. So I agree. What I would love for you to do is not to look at the code card. Throw it down. Yeah, yeah avoid the code card because yeah, yeah, it, it's yeah. breaking your you spirit. Won't know. We'll get yeah. high. You don't want to know. Just take it out. Take it out. Throw it on the ground. Throw it on the ground. And now start. <laughs> now do the card I can, I can see all the videos now. People are like, <laughs> get out of here. No, I didn't. I, I, that's here. knowledge. Ignorance is bliss, everybody. Yeah. I did not want to know that. This might be the worst ETB of all time. Yeah, stop it. Dude, I hope We're just waiting banger. for the goodies. Uh, please, he deserves please. it. Just a regular hollow. <gasps> but it's a hollow. He got, I think you I got, he got no full art cards, everybody, out of 10 packs. Eight eight packs. See it. Eight, oh, 8 pack. That's yeah, right. That was, oh, that's right. You don't get 10 in that one. The premiums yeah. do. So it's a little cheaper, though. A little more affordable. Yeah, so okay. That's my second Battle Styles ETB. Yeah. And All right. So um, thank you for opening. Thank you for your, thank one? you for sacrificing your money, Scott. I do appreciate sure. yeah, that. I'm going to try to lift your spirits through creativity, through art. So uh, what is this first one, Haas? All right, so this is a very creative individual. I don't know a person in, in the world that exists like him, but he has been born with the ability to just kind of make top top billboard songs okay. on the fly. He has some type of antenna we don't have through pulling ideas, beats, and everything. So this is on Sway in the Morning. Okay. This is new content. Oh, this is Mark Rebillier. Yeah, he's amazing. So like, hold on. I love him, Scott. So Scotty B, can I get you? He's yeah. making this song on the fly. <laughs> he's like a sway, dude. This is great. He's like recorded himself and looped it. Yeah. Okay, so this uh, this link is going to represent a company called Neuralink by um, yes. the one and only um, Elon Musk. Elon? So, and oh. again, if you if you have seen this, that's okay. Some of our viewers might uh, not. I was we kidding, talk about this for hours. Like I was on the right. Yeah, track. you're you're on the right frequency. Was, so this is something cool. fun. Again, I want to share with people that might not know about it. Um, but this um, will be potentially the future on how we interact with technology. Are we going to turn in like the people from Wally? Well, right. Here we go. Here we check check it out. With his mind? All with his mind. Oh! All with his mind. His I'm just catching Pokemon with my head. He's clearly better than me with a controller. This is amazing. Oh. You lost monkey. You can see him moving his hand a little bit on while he's eating the smoothie. Yeah. That's amazing. We can never blame a video game on the on the machine anymore. It's always going to be our mind messing up. <laughs> or we're just playing that monkey. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good, man. You can see him, his eyebrows are raising. Yeah. He wants it to go up. Yep. Bro, it's happening. It's amazing. Oh, I'm so convinced. Okay, you can go ahead and pause it. I am so convinced. So this is where Elon says, the, what, right now we are cyborgs, right? We hold our phones. They're always on us. And that, that's how we're connected. So the bit rate between me and the phone is really low. Right. I'm using two thumbs. Yes. So he wants to, for us to compete with AI as we go into the future to unlock our minds with technology, we need to increase that bit rate. And then, so once we can put thought towards something and then it interacts, then that bit rate that now is increased by more, you know, orders and orders of magnitudes. Wow. 
Now that's the that's the end game here. And then right now, this is only a one way current. It listens, and then you can react. Eventually, it'll be a two way. We'll be able to interact with these neurons and then invoke reactions through them. Just reading books, just. Yeah, so literally jacked into the matrix like Neo. You think it, you query it with your mind, the internet provides it. This gets very strange yep. pretty quick. Can, can we all just... I know kung fu. <laughs> <laughs> right? <Imagine>. Right? <laughs> Dude, yeah. 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 I just want to fight Lawrence Fishburne in a weird Oh my hut. god. <laughs> or, or, or Nick, right? I, I know all the Pokemon and all the moves. Oh. Yeah, well, that would help me with Gen 4. Yeah. Yes. You'd be so good at it's the game now. bring it back home. So those are some of the things that I wanted to share. Hopefully, I can sprinkle these out throughout the week. Um, but yeah, this is this is some mind-boggling things, which I think plays service to what we're talking about today. Yep, a yeah. little bit. I appreciate yeah. you. No, it's uh, pretty, pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Man. Now I know no kung fu, and now I'm gonna get some brisket. I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, uh, <laughs> I think it you gotta is hundred percent time think. to eat. My stomach is growling. Yeah, I am. I'm hungry. Big time hungry. <laughs> Big time hungry. <laughs> Guys, that was sad. first of all. Thank you all for being here and getting all. Everything together. Thank you, Justin, time. for like this amazing setup that we got going on here. I appreciate yeah. everybody being here. No um, Even on top of an fun. aquifer. Yeah. Sorry to interrupt. What's that? We're on an aquifer. We so are. I on appreciate an aquifer. Justin for that as well. We appreciate. We appreciate the la- the grounds aquifer. Yeah. 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 You know. <laughs> um, hey guys, listen. I'm I'm uh, I'm very happy that I was able to host. I appreciate all of you. I think um, this is really fun, and we can do this more. And uh, yeah. So yeah, we'll thank you for going. bringing your setup here. And yeah. Keep yeah. going. Yeah. We'll keep upgrading. Things will get better. We'll get. Yep. You know, uh, smarter and faster, yeah. stronger, better. I, I can, yeah. I can talk. Punk. You know, deeper. Like, I, I feel like, I feel oh, like, if, 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 no, Dragon Ball Z reference. I feel like we're we're getting into that spot where like we're we're realizing, wait, we can maybe go Super Saiyan. Is that an actual thing or not? I, I think we're, we're we're maybe at Kaioken. We haven't quite okay. made it. There, yes, right? it did. I, we're about we're much better. Two. <laughs> okay. Okay. Stint. okay. Maybe Scott will get a word in okay. next time. You know, nah. you need to be a bully, man. Well, yeah, I think it's the coffee, but it's okay. Take yeah, it kind of kind of worked my <laughs> head. Yeah, I, I threw him a curveball. I didn't mean to, but I'm going to say something that I've always wanted to say, and okay. I get to say it here today. Okay. Okay. If you've enjoyed this content, please like and subscribe. Oh, yeah. go ahead and leave a comment. Leave, leave, leave a, comment, a comment. Ring the bell. I'm um, one of us. Will this, this lets us know that you like the content. Yeah. Uh, g- give us your feedback. This is a fast moving thing. Yeah, hundred percent, guys. Thank you for being on the Hype Stadium podcast. This is number one. More to come. I hope everybody has a great one. Take it easy. Stay one hundred.